welcome to modular classroom today in this video we will see how to use one of the mobile application called google jamboard already we have uploaded a video regarding the google jamboard that is online whiteboard interactive presentation tool that can be used in laptop or desktop but today we are going to see the mobile application for that you have to install the google jamboard from the google play store and after installing you just open it as you see you, there will be a plus symbol to create a new jam so click this plus symbol to create a new jam as you saw in the desktop version or the laptop version that will be in the top there will be the frame that shows how many frames you're using in this jam and in the bottom you can see the assistive tools like pin eraser pointer laser pointer etc and there will be also a plus symbol to create a sticky note or a drive content or through insert a pictures through a camera or through a image library and since this is a mobile phone you can able to rotate your mobile phone also so that your uh, mobile now goes to your landscape version so that you can be used very conveniently rather than portrait mode so after turning now your jam looks like this now for example if I want to take a class regarding the topic I can add the topic either through my hand I can type like this clear I'm choosing this pen and I'm choosing the color what I need so either you can type like this types of something and or either you can use the sticky note and here you can type the particular heading that you're going to take class today and you can change the color of the sticky note also like this you can change any color and you can put like this and you can minimize and you can take it to the top so this is the topic that I'm going to teach now so types of machine learning is a topic either I can use this Google Jamboard for the purpose of writing like a chalk in the blackboard in the physical classroom I can use my fingers and I can write on this whiteboard virtual class whiteboard see I'm choosing this pen I'm choosing the second one color whatever I color I'm choosing that color and here the types of machine learning the first type is supervised so I'm writing in my hand supervised second one is unsupervised i'm i can write in my hand like this and i can explain this topic to my students so that they feel very convenient and somewhat similar to their physical classroom since i'm using the chalk and blackboard i'm using this pen and whiteboard and after explaining uh, some staff members some of our friends also feel very easy for writing in their fingers rather than using mouse pointers since some of them feel very difficult to access through mouse pointers for that for this uh, teaching purpose they can't able to afford any digital devices like digital pen or digital tablet to insert some mathematical equations or chemistry equations so th this is a very convenient tool for them to write in their fingers to this Android mobile phone so uh, as I'm in the class I'm explaining these topics I can use a second frame and I can also insert an image and explain this topic very elaborately see I can uh, choose this play symbol and I can choose this image library I can in the downloads I have one image called supervised machine learning see this like what this image looks like and I, if I write anything wrongly like this something I have written means I can use this eraser tool and I can rub so it will go off from the screen and uh, if I want to point out anything I can use this pointer tool and if I want to use uh, stress any important point in this model training I can use this laser pointer laser so it will point and it will wipe off the screen and if i want to explain with a pencil that is also possible see this is a label data and i want to change the color 
I can able to change the color like this. These are the labels and this is the prediction process that has been carried on. This is a prediction process that is carried on and this is the output like this I can easily explain with my fingers. So this is an example for that purpose I have taken the topic types of machine learning and I have inserted one image and I have explained. Likewise if you are explaining and the students uh, need these points to be noted. For example this is a model and this is the output and uh, I am giving this uh, as input as the labels like this uh, somewhat I have explained with this diagram and students want to save this as uh, uh, you want to sh share this uh, particular topic or particular image that has been written in your handwritten notes you want to s share this to your students it is also possible like saving this particular uh, jam as a pdf and sending to your students like how you uh, shared like in the desktop version see share this jam as pdf or share this particular frame alone as an image this is the various options if i share this jam as pdf this will be converted to a pdf document and after see uh, converting this uh, print version the first diagram first uh, pdf contains the handwritten part what i have written as the types and second one what i have written the notes image with an explanation can be converted into a pdf since i have used the landscape mode it was somewhat shrinked but if the students zoom it they can able to view this particular handwritten explanation uh, neatly and they can able to clearly understand the topic that is being teached by in you in the online class so thanks for watching hope this video with some bolt useful when you feel difficulty in handling the mouse with the digital whiteboards so this is one of the easiest option to use your fingers as how you use the chalk in the blackboards thanks for watching stay tuned